uh, reviewing Red Horse Beer. Extra strong brew. It is 7% alcohol. And uh, just make sure I read it on the back. Oh, God, my magnifying glass me is so chatty. Experience that distinctive full flavoured taste of a world class premium strong beer. The funny thing is, you may not know, is that this is made by San Miguel. So basically, it's like an extra strong San Miguel. And uh, I'm not sure if this this uh, a laggy connection going off. Let me just do this a second and turn off the internet because I'm sure that the internet is playing up. So give it a second, probably to sort itself out while it loses. Don't normally get Wi-Fi down the shed anyway. I normally turn it off because it, it does not play up. Oh, and after, it's been a warm day, not as warm as yesterday, but, oh God, it's still been warm. So this came in a, a special beer hall from John Rhodes. So cheers, matey, for this. And uh, I must have drank the other bottle the other day because I, I came down to the shed one day and there's one of these empty. So either I drank it or the dog did. Um, and, uh, you know, when you drink something and you can't remember drinking it, it was one of them days. So, no head on this. We don't really get heads on most lagers, to be fair. Good carbonation. It's a clear, I would call it a clear golden colour pour on there. There's a sweetish nose, like a light lager malt sweet nose uh, coming off it. Tastes like ABV. I can really taste the ABV. There's a sweetness again. It's quite balanced. It's a light malt flavour. But the ABV, I can feel it in my belly now. Wow. So yeah, definitely can, definitely can taste it. Ooh. Gotta say, that's going down rather well. It's been a long day today, and uh, oh, not many days, but I'm actually glad to be finishing at three o'clock. But today, with the heat and other factors, uh, it, I was glad to finish at three o'clock. So, you know, it's not often that happens with me. Usually, I'm really um, chirpy and all that. But uh, yeah, I don't think this heat's helping matters at all. Um, We've got more days of there's no end in sight of this chuffing heat. It's all right, you know, if you're working in aircon all day, you don't really notice it only when you come out and that. But being an outside worker, the the high end of, of temperature, the low end of temperature, and obviously rain, the effects of things. Now, with rain, I've got the ability to get out of the rain, certainly at one side. Um, what about the other? But now we've got a works van, so there may be times we're delivering stuff from one workplace to the other. It might be interesting to see what goes on with the works van and uh, insurance wise. Um, hmm. <laughs> so anyway, cheers John for this, tasting really well, made by San Miguel, now strong San Miguel, tell you what, I'd love to, can you imagine going country to country and just, there's so many beers in the world, isn't there? You, know, you only have to look at this country, and I think there's something daft like 2,200 breweries, there may well be more than that, you replicate that by each brewery doing a minimum of say say three or four beers minimum and then and that's um, that is a minimum so the amount of beers at any time just in the uk is probably something daft like 10 12 000 different beers that's crazy isn't it 
you know, if there's actually a still 2,200 breweries, and most breweries I know do a lot more than three or four. So not many do just three or four beers. And um, obviously their back, their catalogs change all the time. So you can review a beer and then it will never be seen again, which is really sad in some ways, especially when it's a good beer. I, I like the need to, to um, have beers that are new, but I also like the fact that if something's a good beer and sales are always a key thing for that, um, that to bring it back. <sighs> I mean, I myself, fully getting back into the world of homebrew, and uh, it's looking like it's a, a true success at the moment. I need to fridge two of my bottles and just to see uh, what they taste like when they're uh, chilled. Um, hoping that no one mistakes them for pot bottles and tries to drink them, as has happened before. Someone's just come down the deck in. in any case, yeah, tasting really well. And I like the big ABV lagers, I do. Not just for the sake of getting drunk. It's never about that. It's taste. As taste goes, it is a nice tasting lager. I've got to be honest. And it's that flitting between lagers, beers, ciders and spirits. Um, I'm quite easily drinking any one of them, and wines obviously. Um, spirits and wines, a little bit more expensive to do, a little bit more expensive to review, and uh, you know, and there's nowhere that does miniatures at a price where, you know, you're getting a good deal for what you're spending. Um, ready to drinks are probably the best way because you can review the spirit, but in, in a ready to drink form, i.e. pre-mixed. Um, oh, so proper it, you know, it's, it's, it's just chilling me out, I could just nod off now to be honest. Say, so, first time I've drank it, well when I know I've drank it, God knows what happens to the other bottle, it is empty. Somewhere around. <laughs> um, yeah. Terrible when you can't even remember drinking a beer. Oh, that, that's bad. Yeah, it happens all the time. But um, yeah, I look down and think, did I drink that last night? And uh, yeah. <laughs> these things happen, don't they? Don't they just? I mean, kids in the sweet shop. I've got the biggest, I've got a big sweet shop to, to pull beers from, you know. So, um, I will take a photo of it like that, just so people know what it is. Uh, for me, a good 4.3 out of 5 against other lagers. Um, I did have to correct somebody the other week that coughed me up for giving Carling 4, 4 out of 5 against other lagers, you know. Um, and then again, on a day like today, where you're out in the sun, you're, you're boiling up, there's a fresh pint of carling in front of you, it's ice cold, you drink that, and it tastes like a 5 out of 5 box ticker, just because it's chilled you down, it's absolutely on the ball, yeah, so in a lot of ways, you know, the weather, there's so many variables and, uh, and it's, it's, you know, there's a reason why certain things, it's not all down to money as well, why certain things sell so chuffing well. I can see the washing line that is a reflection, that's weird. I can see the washing line going around now, that really is weird. Anyway, got a run. 
cracking day. Cheers again, John, and uh, see you soon.